Hi, today we're going to read the story, The Little Red Hen. The Little Red Hen is the title of this story, so each word in the title begins with a capital letter. This story is an old fable. Fable is a genre of story, meaning that the story has been told many, many times over a long period of time, and a fable is a story we can usually learn something from in the end. This story is retold by Heather Forrest. She's not the one who originally made up the words, but she's the one who decided how to write them in this book. This story is illustrated by Susan Gaber. That means that Susan drew the pictures. Let's look at the characters on the front cover illustration. We have the little red hen, the frisky dog, the tiny mouse, and the cat. This is the title page of the book. The title page tells us the name or title of the story again. The Little Red Hen. It's an old fable that's retold by Heather Forrest and illustrated by Susan Gaber. Look at the illustration on the title page. What do you think is the setting of this story? Where would we find a little red hen? probably on a farm. About the tale, the little red hen is a popular fable that has delighted generations of young listeners and readers since it appeared as a recommended tale for telling in the 1907 edition of Stories to Tell Children by Sarah Cohn Bryant. That means Sarah Cohn Bryant was the original author who made up this story. Sarah was an early advocate for the art of oral storytelling in libraries and schools. Before we read this fable, I would like to show you a few rhyming words on each page. Rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end. House, mouse are rhyming words. Can you say those rhyming words? House, mouse. Eat, wheat are rhyming words. Can you say the rhyming words eat, wheat? Eat, wheat sound the same at the end, so eat, wheat are rhyming words. Let's find a few more rhyming words. My and sigh are rhyming words. Can you say the rhyming words my, sigh? I also rhymes with my sigh because they all have the long I sound at the end. Here are some more rhyming words. Eat, wheat again. Those are rhyming words we've already heard and they're here on this page again. Can you say the rhyming words eat, wheat? Again, we have the rhyming words, my, sigh. Say these rhyming words with me. My, sigh. Do you remember the other word that rhymes with my and sigh? It's I. Some more rhyming words in this story are until mill. Can you say the words until mill? And once again, we have eat, wheat. Eat and wheat have the same sound on the end, so eat and wheat are rhyming words. Just a few more rhyming words before we read the story. Flower, hour are rhyming words. Can you say the rhyming words flower, hour? Flower, hour are rhyming words. Well and smell have the same sound on the end, so well and smell are also rhyming words. Can you say well, smell? Let's go back to the beginning of this book. Has anyone ever asked you to help them with something, especially work? When someone asked you to help them with work, did you help or did you have an excuse? Well, in this story, the little red hen wants to make something delicious, but the little red hen knows there's lots of work involved. 
Do you think the other characters in the story are going to be willing to help her? As we read, I also want you to remember the story Sally's Pizzeria and what she had to use to make flour to make the dough of her pizza. See if you hear some words you heard in Sally's Pizzeria in this book as well. A little red hen lived in a house with a frisky dog, a cat, and a mouse. One day, while she was pecking for worms in the weeds, she came upon a pile of golden wheat seeds. She said with delight, Dog, cat, mouse, if you'd like some cake to eat, who will help me plant this wheat? Would you like some cake to eat? I think I would definitely help Little Red Hen. What would you do? Do you see the wheat seeds that she found? Do you remember the other story where we heard about wheat? Do you did you hear the rhyming words on this page? House mouse? Weeds seeds? Eat wheat? Keep listening for rhyming words and thinking about where you've heard of wheat before. The dog said, not I. The cat said, not I. The mouse said, not I. My, my, said the hen with a sigh. I shall have to do it myself. Would any of the other characters in the story help the little red hen plant her wheat seeds? So the little red hen planted the seeds. She watered them well. She pulled the weeds. She tended the plants all alone. Did you hear the rhyming words? Seeds? Weeds? Did anyone help the little red hen with planting? When the stalks had fully grown, she said with a shout, Dog, cat, mouse, if you'd like some cake to eat, who will help me cut this wheat? Did you think of the other story where we heard of wheat? It was in Sally's pizzeria. She needed wheat also. Do you think the dog or the cat or the mouse is going to help the little red hen cut the wheat off of its plant? Let's find out. The dog said, not I. The cat said, not I. The mouse said, not I. <sighs> my, my said the hen with a sigh. I shall have to do it myself. Did anyone help her? So the little red hen cut and cut until she had enough wheat to grind at the mill. She said with some doubt, dog, cat, mouse, if you'd like some cake to eat, who will help me grind this wheat? Do you think anyone's going to help her grind her big crop of wheat she got from her tall grass plant? She's already cut it all down by herself. Got the seeds separated. The dog said, not I. The cat said, not I. The mouse said, not I. Do you think these other three characters are going to help the little red hen with any of the jobs? <sighs> my, my, said the hen with a sigh. I shall have to do it myself. And here she is, 
You see her pulling the heavy bag of wheat seeds to the mill. The little red hen ground the wheat into flour. There she is pouring it into the mill. The mill will turn around and around and grind it up into that white powder of flour. Then it was the baking hour. She mixed up the batter and measured so well. Soon the house was filled with a sweet cake smell. Can you get that smell in your nose of what it smells like when your mom is mixing up cake batter and putting it in the oven? Did you hear the rhyming words on this page? Flower hour are rhyming words. Well smell are rhyming words. The dog, the cat, and the mouse followed the scent into the house. They smelled the smell of cake baking. What do you think the dog and the mouse and the cat want? They hungrily admired the handsome treat. How delicious, they shouted. When do we eat? If you were the little red hen and you had planted the wheat by yourself and cut it by yourself and taken it to the mill and turned it into flour by yourself and baked this cake by yourself, what would you do when the dog, the cat, and the mouse were hungrily looking at your beautiful cake? Let's see what the hen did. Alone, the hen replied, I planted. I weeded, I cut, I ground the little pile of golden wheat seeds I found. Alone I used the flour to bake. Now who will help me eat this cake? What do you think she's going to do? Did you hear the rhyming words? Ground and found sound the same at the end. So ground and found are rhyming words. Bake and cake are rhyming words because bake and cake sound the same at the end. I wonder what the little red hen is going to do. Will she share with her friends or will she keep the cake to herself? What do you think she should do? Raise your hand if you think the little red hen should share. Now put your hand down. If you did not raise your hand before and you think the little red hen should not share, raise your hand if you think the little red hen should not share. Put your hand down. Let's find out what the little red hen does. The dog said, I'll help. The cat said, I'll help. The mouse said, I'll help. Do you think she'll let them? <sighs> my, my, said the hen with a sigh. I will share my cake with those of you who help when there is work to do. For after all is said and done, working together makes working more fun. Do you think that the cat and the dog and the mouse will help her next time? Now, when the little red hen wants to bake, everyone helps to make the cake. What is the cat doing? What is the mouse doing? What is the dog doing? The cat's watering, the dog is weeding, the mouse is helping cut, and they're all helping pull and push the wheat to the mill, and they're all helping bake. Do you think that the cat, the mouse, and the dog learned a lesson in this book? The genre of this book is a fable. 
A fable is an old story that's been told many, many times, like this one, for over a hundred years sometimes. But in a fable, there's a special part where you might learn a lesson at the end. And in a fable, the characters are almost always animals. Do you think that these animal characters learned a lesson in this fable? What lesson do you think they learned? At first they didn't help, but then they learned that if they wanted to eat the delicious cake, they had to help when there was work to do. And everyone helps to eat it. I hope you enjoyed this old fable, The Little Red Hen. And I hope that you noticed that just like Sally's Pizzeria that happened in the year that we live in, you still need wheat to make flour, to make delicious things like pizza crust and cake. Come back and listen some more for another story.